Hey, this is Scott from SamCart, and we're going to walk you through how to set up your integration between SamCart and MemberPress. Once this integration is set up, you'll be able to automatically add and remove memberships when products in SamCart are purchased, refunded, subscriptions are canceled, and much more. And so the first place you're going to want to go is into your Marketplace Integration Settings. And we're going to come down and click on this Add New button. From the drop-down, I'm going to go ahead and select MemberPress. And this step is going to ask for a couple different pieces of information. The first is just a name for the integration. This first field is more like a nickname, so that you know exactly what integration this is inside of your SamCard account. We'll need to go back into MemberPress to find each one of the next three pieces of information you need. Your website URL, username, and password. From inside your WordPress dashboard, find MemberPress in your sidebar and click on the Developer tab. To find the website URL, you're going to now click on the REST API tab, and from the drop-down, select Get Transaction. What's going to pop up is the website URL you need. You're going to want to copy everything up through V1. This back part of the URL we do not need, just everything up through V1. Copy and then take it back over to SamCart, and we'll drop it in right here with the website URL. Now for the username and password, we have to do something a little bit unique. You're going to have to download this extra WordPress plugin called Application Passwords by George Stefanis. Just go to Google and search Application Passwords WordPress plugin. Download the plugin and activate it on your WordPress site. MemberPress by itself does not have the ability to authenticate third-party tools using their API, and so we have to use Application Passwords so that SamCart can securely talk with MemberPress. And now to find your WordPress username and create a password, we're going to come up to the top of the page and you're going to go into your WordPress account. Scroll down until you see the username field and copy whatever you see in exactly this tab and paste it back over into SamCart. Back over in WordPress, we're going to keep scrolling down until you see the application passwords section. This area is what that plugin creates. You can see I've already created some application passwords testing around with this MemberPress integration. What we're going to do is give this a new application password name and click Add New. And then you're going to copy what is inside of this gray box. It should be a long alphanumeric string. And you may want to copy what's inside this gray box to a notepad or something as well, because once you close this box, you'll never see this application password again. But then you're going to come back over to SamCard and just paste that into the password field and click Save Integration. And just like that, you're set up and ready to go with MemberPress, which means you can come into any one of your SamCard products and start setting up integration rules. Click on the Integrations tab and scroll down to the bottom, and all of a sudden you can start creating your own custom integration rules that will automatically give your customers access to exactly what they bought. So the first thing you're going to do is select a trigger inside of SamCard. So you can fire this integration rule when this product is bought, if this product is refunded, or if the subscription related to this product is ever canceled. And so I'm going to use product purchase. Then you select your member press integration and choose what action you'd like to use. You have the option to both grant a membership or remove a membership from someone's account. And in the last step, you will see all of the different memberships you have created inside of MemberPress. And so the rule I'm creating will grant access to this paid membership B anytime this product is bought. I click Submit, and this action will be ready to fire anytime you need it. Now if I want to go and create the reverse rule and remove access from that membership if this product is ever refunded, I can come back, select the Product Refunded trigger, select my MemberPress account, select Remove Membership, and then choose that same paid membership B membership. Click Submit, and now all of a sudden I have custom integration rules that will grant access to paid membership B inside of MemberPress when this product is bought, and remove access from paid membership B if this product is refunded. But that's how SamCart works perfectly with MemberPress to make sure your customers have access to everything they've bought and nothing they haven't. Dive in, get your integration set up today, and start creating your own custom integration rules and automate your member press setup today.